Hey there guys and gals, if it's F1 Backwards here, back with another 100% achievement guide and today we will be grabbing a very easy 1000 in the form of Deep Space Rush. A game developed by Bug Studio and published by everyone's favourite, Rather Like a Games. It is available for just £4.19 and you can grab the full 1k in under an hour. Uh, my time was 29 minutes and 50 seconds to be exact. Now, a few little things to mention then. The game is randomly generated, meaning you never play the same level twice. And since there is no sort of end area, if you will, to get to, plus the stats being all cumulative, it makes for a very easy and still quite enjoyable experience. Now, you will see me unlocking every achievement on screen as I go through them with you. So, the three main achievement points in this game are completing so many zones, killing so many monsters, and maxing an item from the store. All extremely easily done and the first two we will be getting is buying something from and specifically the heart from the store with that bear in mind there's only really three upgrades we should be smashing hearts to max gun that we started with and the blue shield the rest are pretty pointless unless of course you want to upgrade them of course <laughs> I actually tell a lie, the first achievement we'll be getting is to die, and that will happen at any point, so if you miss that, you are pretty badass at this game, and congratulations. But as I said earlier, because there's no end area or anything to get to, if you die, you can simply just restart. Now, when you spawn on the ship after you die, that is where you can buy any items you want, or as you progress through the level, as you will see here, you will see a little computer screen that you can also purchase any items that you want to there it is just on the right hand side there then so with this then buy the heart first of all to unlock a further two achievements and by the way to maximize any items we'll need to be getting up to level five so you can have a look through but really like i said it's the blue shield on the right there the heart and the gun that we started with, which is all you'll need. Now then, as you see then, there are plenty of coins for you to collect, so you should have no worries with collecting them as you progress through the game. Um, obviously you've seen the couple of monsters, they are easy to kill, and even easier to kill once you upgrade your gun to level five. And as you go along, you'll see those walls right there, sort of close up behind you, they are, Basically, that's completing another zone. So as soon as a wall goes up behind you, that means you've completed another zone. And again, all cumulative, so you can die as many times as you want, and you should have no problem. So here we go then. This is for completing 20 zones in total at the minute then. And also what I found for killing monsters, what I found is these guns that I, I accidentally upgraded this one, but it doesn't actually work. It doesn't actually count for killing. What you have to use is your normal gun so this gun they are the only one that counts towards killing because you can kill monsters with like i said this gun right here which sort of floats them up in the air once you upgrade your shield you can also kill them with that but it doesn't count towards your total of 100 killing monsters so keep that in mind try to avoid these guns and stick with your first gun <laughs> So yeah, you'll be flying through the zones a lot quicker than you'll actually be killing the monsters. Sadly, for me, it took me a little bit longer to find out that, you know, only your original gun works and counts for killing the monsters, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but there it is. Still can't complain with half an hour of completion time, can you? So here we go then. We are now back at the store. We're on to level four of the hearts. Now we're on to level five. And that will unlock us our super spender achievement. And that is for maxing an item. And now what we can do then is buy the blue shield. Which, again, like I said, they don't count for killing enemies. But it obviously does help when you pick it up for progressing further through the level. Just so you don't have to keep restarting. It just saves that tiny little bit of frustration. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Alright, so I know there weren't that many miscellaneous achievements in this game anyway, but now we've basically completed them all, so all we're doing now is getting to 100 zones and now killing 100 monsters. So, yeah, it, I mean, it's quite, like I said, quite an enjoyable game, not too bad. I've definitely played worse for £4.19, I can tell you that pretty much. <laughs> So this is where you should theoretically be at as well, once you complete the 100 zones it doesn't matter how far you get now, now we're just on about killing 100 monsters. And again, as I've said, I'm not sure if the other guns work for it as well, but if you just upgrade your original gun to max it, it one hit kills them anyway, so again, shouldn't have a problem. But you know, there's always, um, I mean, there could always be a bit of fun in trying to challenge yourself to see how far you can actually go in these levels, which I thought was pretty fun, but anyway, that's it, that's all it is to it, like I said, this should take you no longer than about half an hour, it's easy enough to just sort of smash through it and run through it, but anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and gals, hope this helps, and again, if it has, don't forget to like, comment, drop a subscribe below, and I shall see you in the next one, big love.